Well, look, I've always thought rather than Labour running away with it, the most likely scenario that would end up with Keir Starmer as Prime Minister would be if the Lib Dems and SNP, no matter what they, everyone says now, ended up doing a coalition deal, a deal to back Starmer for PM after the election. Because despite, and I know there's huge fury from many of you towards the Conservative government, Labour's still not exactly running away with it. And I'll draw your attention to this latest at Savanta poll uh, showing now Labour's lead down to 11 points. Now that is the lowest lead since December. You see the Labour 43. Tories actually up three there on 32. Lib Dems nine, Reform five. And that was conducted uh, at the beginning of March. Now alongside that, and what some are saying is quite a shaky Labour lead that could be easily collapse. I found this quite interesting as well because we know that uh, Labour have sort of tried to completely avoid the subject uh, of Brexit in the EU as much as they can. They make the odd intervention like when they bizarrely pledged to back pretty much whatever Rishi Sunak agreed with the EU recently. And of course you do occasionally see Labour MPs actually let it slip as to what they really think about rejoining the EU. Interesting to see uh, what voters think still about the Labour position which is that when there are British voters, a chunk of voters there, the most common response is that voters still think Labour want to rejoin the EU. And only 16% of voters believe that Labour want to stay out. Again, there's a challenge for Sunak's Conservatives here because actually Redfield and Wilton Fine voters associate Sunak slightly as having closer relations with the EU than Starmer. But interesting to see there, you know, Labour down to an 11 point lead in that Savannah poll. You know what you make of all of that in the comments below, guys. I will keep bringing you all the very latest, so please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.